on YouTube and Facebook. Book of Am Tuad, the Book of Gates, Chapter Three, the Gate of Sa Set, the Second Division of the Tuad. He, Boat of Ra, having passed between the two halves of the horizon of the west, now approaches a gateway the door of which is closed before him. The door of the second division of the Tuat is different from the door of the other divisions, for it consists of a single leaf which turns upon a pivot, working in holes in the top, for it consists of a single leaf which turns upon a pivot, working in holes on the top and bottom of the framework of the door. <clears throat> this door is guarded by a serpent called Sa Set, which stands upon its tail. The text referring to this serpent reads, He who is over, i.e. has the mastery over, this door openeth to Ra Sa saith unto Sat Set, Open thy door to Ra, throw wide open thy door to Kuti. The hidden adobe is in darkness, so that the transformation of this god may take place. This portal is closed after this god hath entered in through it, and there is a lamentation on the part of those who are in their mountain when they hear this door shut. In the center of the scene, we see the boat of Ra being towed along by four gods standing, each of whom grasp the tow line with both hands. <clears throat> the god is now in the form of a ram-headed man who holds the scepter in his right hand and has the solar disk above his horns. He stands within a shrine which is enveloped in the vol vol voluminous folds of the serpent Mahin a serpent also stands on his tail before him. In front of the stone stands Sa, and behind it, Haku. The, god who tow, the gods who tow the boat are called Ta'au, Ta'ai, Ta'u. The sun's boat is met in this section by a company of thirteen gods who are under the direction of a god who holds a staff in his hand. The name of the first seven gods are <clears throat> Nepama, Ninha, Ba, Haru, Behaab, Kanimu, Sachet, the third has the head of a ram, and the fourth that of a hawk. The last six gods are described as gods who are in the entrance. The god who bears the staff has no name. The text which refers to the sun god reads, This great god journeyeth along the roads of the Tuat. This god is drawn by the gods of the Tuat to make divisions or distinctions in the earth 
and to work out his designs therein, to weigh words and deeds in Ament, to magnify the great God above the little God among the gods who are in the Tuat, to place the Ku, i.e. the blessed dead, upon their throne, and the damned in the place to which they have been condemned in the judgment, and to destroy their bodies by an evil death, Ra saith, O grant me, O grant ye to me, that I may restore the tierra, and that I may have possession of my shrine which is in the earth. Let Sa and Heka unite themselves to me for the working out of plans for you and for making to come into being their attributes or forms. Ye have what is yours. Isis hath made to be at peace the wind and offerings are there. <clears throat> None shutteth the door against you, and the damned do not enter in after you. That which belongeth to you is to you. O gods, these gods say unto Ra, There is darkness on the road of the Tuat. Therefore let the doors which are closed be unfolded. Let the earth open, so that the gods may draw along him that hath created them their food, i.e. the food of these gods, is of the funeral offerings, and their drink is from their cool water, and their hands are on meat offerings among the Akert region of Ament. On the right of the boat are twenty-four gods, the first twelve of whom are described as those who are at peace, the worshippers of Ra, and the second twelve as the righteous who are in the Tuat. These beings are thus described by the accompanying text. These are they who have worshipped or praised Ra upon the earth, who uttered words of power against Apep, who made their offerings unto him, and who burnt, literally made, incense to their gods on their behalf, after their offerings. They have gained possession of their cool waters, and they receive their meat, and they eat of their offerings in the gateway of him whose name is hidden. Their meat is by the gateway, and their offerings are within him who is therein. And Ra saith unto them, Your offerings are yours. Ye have power over your cold waters. Your souls shall never be hacked to pieces. Your meat shall never fail. O ye who have praised me, and have vanquished a pep for me. <clears throat> the above passage refers to the worshippers of Ra who are at peace. These are they who spake truth upon the earth, and who were not addicted to an evil thought about the gods. They make their invocations in the gateway, they live upon Ma'at, i.e. truth, and their cool waters are in their cisterns. Ra saith unto them, <clears throat> Truth is yours, live ye on your food, ye yourself are truth, and they have power over these their cool waters, which are waters of fire to those who have guilt and sin. And these gods say to Ra, Let there be stability to the disk of Ra. Let him that is in the shrine have the mastery over it. And let the serpent Mahin guard him well. May the flames of Kuti, which are 
in the corners of the hidden shrine grow stronger, and there shall be given to them meat in the place of peace in their circle. The above passage refers to the righteous who are in the Tuat. On the left side of the boat of Ra is the god Tim, who is depicted in the form of an aged man leaning heavily on a stick which he grasps in his right hand. Four male beings who are lying prostrate on their backs. Twenty male beings with their backs bowed and their arms tight tied together at their elbows behind their backs. Our beings are described as the inert and the twenty as the apostates of the Hall of Ra who have blasphemed Ra upon the earth who are invoked who have invoked evils upon him that is in the egg who have thrust aside the right and have spoken words against Kuti. The text referring to the inert and apostates read, Tim worketh on behalf of Ra, glorifying the God and singing praise to his soul and disturbing evil things to his enemy. He saith, The word of my father Ra is right, Ma'at against you and my word is right against you i am the son who proceedeth from his father and i am the father who proceedeth from his son ye are fettered and ye are tied with a strong cord and it is i who have set sent forth the decree concerning you that ye shall be bound by in fetters your arms shall never more be opened. Ra pronounceth the formula against you. His soul is prepared to attack you. My father hath gained the mastery over you, and my soul uttereth words against you. Your evil deeds have turned against you. Your plotting hath come upon you. Your abominable acts have recoil upon you. Your destinies are for evil, and your doom bath been decreed before wrath. Your unjust and perverted judgments are upon yourselves, and the wickedness of your words of cursing is upon you. Evil is the doom which hath been decreed for you before my father. It is you who have committed sins and who have wrought inequity in the great hall. Your corruptible bodies shall be cut in pieces and your souls shall have no existence and ye shall never again see Ra with his attributes as he journeyeth in the hidden land. Hail Ra, adored by Ra. Thine enemies are in the place of destruction.